Hello, Damsonians. Very good evening. Let us start with some last revision segment of ENT in which I will be discussing last few basic tips for for covering ENT in the last spell. Now, last few days left, and I want every Damsonian should study hard for getting good rank in your NEET examination. So, I will be covering all the basic points which I want. Okay, you, this MCQ should be on your tips. Honestly, I. I know everybody won't care. I should give you 10 MCQs which will be there on your examination day, but it's not practically possible. So I will be discussing all the important topics which are very crucial. In these days, you should be concentrating on these topics. Are you getting this first priority? Again, no need of wasting time in asking advice here and there. Basic funda, class notes, class notes, class notes. Every topper, every faculty, everybody is saying only one thing, class notes, class notes, class notes, which will give you rank in All India examination. So let us start. I am having 10 MCQs in ENT. The six basic points, six important segments from where MCQ is always there is management of CSOM. Before starting the session, I am giving you the six important topics. One is your management of carcinoma larynx. Carcinoma larynx. One is apistaxis. Apistaxis. One is your ethmoidal air cell. Always remember ethmoidal air cell. I will be discussing in detail all these segments in a few couple of minutes. Let us discuss management of CSOM, carcinoma larynx, apistaxis, ethmoidal air cell. Audiometry minimum to MCQ is expected from this segment. Audiometry minimum to MCQs and the last important crucial point is your abscess of the pharynx. Abscess of the pharynx. Pharyngeal abscess. Clear? So out of 10 MCQs, these 6 will be definitely there. So I want before starting this ENT revision, you should be master of these 6 topics. Clear? So now I will be covering all the important crucial topics in the last spell. Anatomy, like here, the, the distribution which we do in your All India examination, here we are having nearly 5 to 6 MCQs. One MCQ will be coming from anatomy. Therefore, which topics? Middle ear, walls. All the 6 walls of the middle ear should be on your tips. All the landmarks should be on your tips. They can show you the image like in the last aims they have asked you. The promontory, the middle wall. Are you getting this point? So all the important walls should be there. Middle ear spaces like Prusak space and sinus tympana. These two important spaces should be there. You should be comfortable with the line diagram of these spaces Prusak space, sinus tympana. Clear? Congenital abnormalities of inner ear. Always remember cochlea, five or six congenital abnormality like Mondini dysplasia, Alexander dysplasia, Bing's display, all possible points they can ask you in your all India examination. Congenital abnormalities of external ear, that is your bat ear, mosaic ear, wild ear, all these congenital abnormalities of external ear. Important crucial point which they ask every second or third year, they always highlight this point at what age you should operate, what is the adult size is their adult configuration is achieved by so all these points should be there external ear middle ear inner ear the basic development of these segment at what age at what week intrauterine life they start at what age they complete all these points facial now very crucial point minimum two mcqs will be there in your all in the examination one will be in the anatomy segment one will be either in ent or general search so i wish facial nerve should be on your tips every part like basic branches of facial nerve intracranial intratemporal extra temporal all the how we can detect the site of injury or depending on the symptoms of facial nerve palsy what is the treatment of bell's palsy they will definitely ask you either in medicine or ent treatment of bell's palsy what we will do if the patient of bell palsy will not respond these points are very crucial for your all india examination clear I'm just touching the segment from anatomy one MCQ will be there. So it will be either from these areas which I have discussed with you. Now coming on the audiometry. Again, minimum two MCQ is expected from this segment. So audiometry, what the examiner do in the previous year, one MCQ will be from the subjective, one will be from objective audiometry. Subjective audiometry, pure tone audiometry, speech audiometry, and tuning fork. Pure tone audiometry, all the eight basic graphs should be on your tips. What is normal? What is conductive deafness? What is sensory deafness? What is neural deafness? How we make a diagnosis of heart notch? That is your 2000 hertz. What is noise induced trauma? That is your 4000 hertz. 
what is low frequency hearing loss what is high frequency hearing loss these are the eight important points which should be there what i feel they can ask you an important point karhat notch always in bone conduction this point they have repeated many times so karhat notch is a feature of bone conduction these point which we have highlight in our class notes in our tnd test and discussion you should concentrate in the last spell speech audiometry i feel they can ask you the definition of srt and sds speech reception threshold or speech discrimination score they can ask you to differentiate these two points tuning fork rinis weber in the last 2 3 years we are observing they are asking very nice mcqs on tuning fork like in aims they have given the rinis finding and they have asked you what is the next step in the diagnosis so all the tuning fork test should be on your tip so don't skip these areas again it is not possible in this 25 30 minutes i will discuss all these points but what i the strong message i want to give you is just focus on these basic points in the last spell because it's not practically possible that you can go in the depth of this segment in last few days but i want these points at least you should be aware of these basic points because they will ask you the basic concepts of the topic these are the important symbols we are using for audiometry very favorite segment of your neat examination they will show you one symbol they will ask you whether it is right side or left side they can ask you the color red color is for right side blue color is for left side so they can ask you the graph with respect to these concepts clear this is a important ear bone gap the feature of conductive deafness which i feel that they can show you so it is a blue color so it is left side so this spot diagnosis again remember this point you are having only 30 second in the examination hall the students who will maintain the speed will get a good rank in all india examination after 5 minutes if you are getting the right answer there is no fun of getting this question take my word your competitor have crossed 10 mcqs in front of you so i want speed should be there in your examination within 30 second you should crack the mcq clear always concentrate on this platform i'm just taking the opportunity just read the choices first read the choices first then you try to rule out the right answer with the help of age of the patient with the help of gender of the patient male or female with the help of hallmark feature of the patient always always concentrate on the specific point a clue which make you the diagnosis of the topic clear because i want within 30 second you should attempt the mcq clear They never waste your time in the unwanted things given in the mcq car heart notch very favorite segment of your examiner they will ask you at what frequency it is seen what is the outcome after stepidectomy after stepidectomy the karhat not disappear it is seen in bone conduction is a feature of autosclerosis all these points should be on your tips very favorite question of your examiner is u shape audiogram i don't know why they are asking but this point have been there in your previous examinations u shape audiogram is a feature of congenital deafness congenital deafness clear so is the karhat notch i am showing you objective audiometry again one mcq from the subjective one will be from objective objective they will ask you either from the impedance audiometry they will ask you from impedance audiometry or they will ask you from electrocochleography or bara so this impedance audiometry is for conductive deafness electrocochleography is for sensory deafness and the bara is for neural deafness nowadays they are asking comparison between bara and sara you should be aware of what is brain stem what is cortical evoke response audiometry what are the indication of these things or they can show you the slide they can ask you basic basic points of these three investigation like they can show you this one so always remember is one of the invasive investigation which i'm showing you is your electrocochleography in which we are rupturing we are puncturing the tympanic membrane clear this is they can ask you to identify the investigation this is electrocochleography they can show you this investigation this is your bara always remember one mcq on this segment always expected they can show you the wave always remember the largest wave like i will make a arrow i will ask you which wave is being shown is the largest wave fifth wave clear so you should be aware of all what is the wave one wave two stand for wave three like in notes you must have written all the mnemonics so these points very crucial for all india examination clear OAE very favorite segment of your examiner OAE auto acoustic emission always remember few basic points is from outer hair cell yes is from outer hair cell is used as screening procedure it can be spontaneous it can be evoke it can be spontaneous it can be evoke 
one flashcard on OE should be there because this is a favorite segment of your examiner. Spontaneous evoke. Which OE is best used as screening? Always remember, transient evoke OAE is the best marker for screening test. What will happen if the newborn is admitted in ICU? If the newborn is suffering from any intracranial infection, we always use BARA as a screening procedure of choice. These points in the last spell very crucial. Again, they can ask you at what day it should be done, up to what time it should be done. Always remember, it should be done on the first day. The best time is on the first day, but definitely you should do it by first month. Clear? These are few basic one-liner points on OAE. Anatomy, one MCQ, automatically will be the two MCQs, one from subjective, one from objective. Coming on the infection segment, examiner will again ask you two MCQs. One will be from otitis externa, one will be from otitis media. Otitis externa, I want all the 9 or 10 basic points of malignant otitis externa should be on your tips. It's known as osteomyelitis of skull base. Osteomyelitis of skull base, word diabetic have to be there. Technetium 99 scan is for diagnosis. Gallium scan is for prognosis. But my patient can't afford this scan, so I go for ESR. As a prognostic marker, I use just one second. Yeah, I'm repeating all these points. Malignant or it is external, osteomyelitis of skull base, diabetic patient, technetium 99 scan, diagnosis, gallium is for prognosis, patient can't afford. I will go for ESR. M for malignant or that is external, M for medical treatment. Medical treatment is a treatment of choice. We use third generation cephalosporin. Patient not responding. I go very rare phenomena. I go for surgery. With surgery, debridement. Debridement. These are eight or nine points in front of you. I want malignant or that is external. These topic, very crucial topics, should be completed within five minutes in the last spell. Are you getting this point? If you're wasting half an hour on this topic in the last few days, take my word, don't expect any rank in all India. Malignant or that is external, it should be over in within two, three minutes. Very fast. Like again in DVT, I have highlighted this point. Now is a game of 2020. We have to run very fast. 24 into 7, study, study, study. Take my word, sir. Just switch off your phone, concentrate only on the class notes, 24 into 7, revise, revise, revise. Because if we will not do now, it will be never. We have to waste our one more year, which we don't want. Clear? So these are the basic points on malignant. I have just given a sample of malignant or itis externa. All the keywords should be on your tips. Keratosis obturans. Sometimes your neat examiner, they ask you, what is the age of distribution of keratosis obturans? Just remember, it's a growth abnormality. So it is in the young age. It is somewhere between 5 to 20. Because it's a growth abnormality, is always bilateral. These are the two key points on which they always make MCQ. Which are the organism causing otitis externa? Always remember, mainly pseudomonas is involved. Like malignant otitis externa, malignant otitis externa, perichondritis, perichondritis, inflammation of the pinna, Malignant otitis externa, generalized otitis externa, we always go in favor of pseudomonas. Staphylococcus is for frankel. If there is a frankel in the canal, they can ask you either for pseudomonas or staphylococcus. Clear? So one MCQ can be there from this segment of otitis externa. The very crucial, the most important segment of ear is your otitis media. Serous otitis media, yes, they can ask you serous otitis media, glue ear. They will ask you what is basic grommet. After how many months of medical failure, we insert grommet. This was one of the questions in the last two years. Grommet is inserted after three months of medical failure. Where we insert, we insert in the anterior inferior, serous otitis media, which insert myringotomy, anterior inferior, small radial. In ASOM, we give posterior inferior. These are the favorite one-liner of your examiner. CSOM, very crucial topic. And now one, one more point. How to differentiate serous otitis media from ASOM? This point should be on your tips. They will ask you how, how the appearance of the tympanic membrane. What are the stages of tympanic membrane? Here I will take just one minute on the controversial points. We have cleared one point, lighthouse sign. One is your lighthouse sign. One is cartwheel appearance. They will ask you this point. Cartwheel appearance is a feature of, always remember, presuppuration. Stage of presuppuration. I am just taking this platform to rectify all the controversial MCQs.
that will appearance pre suppuration and if they ask you lighthouse sign lighthouse sign is seen in stage of suppuration clear so these two points can be there in your all india examination csom none of the ent mcq is there where there is no question of cs this is a mandatory topic i want the first topic you should touch in ent is your csm they will ask you how to differentiate safe from unsafe so i have given in my class notes the basic words which make a diagnosis of unsafe ear cholestoma unsafe ear complicated ear so you should be aware how to differentiate is a scanty discharge foul swelling discharge blood stain discharge any polyp any granulation basic rule of the thumb always remember if the infection is in the upper part is a unsafe ear in the lower part is a safe ear that's why we call it as tubo tympanic or atico enteral very fast mode you should revise these points how to differentiate safe from unsafe always remember safe is we will go for repair of the middle ear that is tympanoplasty with ossicular chain reconstruction will unsafe ear we have to dissect we have to open the mastoid remove the mastoid air cell mastoidectomy in the last few days i am uploading all the expected mcqs in the exclusive club so please kindly go with all these indication if you remember in the last week i have uploaded the indication of radical mastoidectomy modified radical what is cortical mastoidectomy what is canal wall down canal wall up this should be there clear so how to differentiate now coming on the complication of csm complication of csm intracranial extracranial never never waste your time on the controversial mcq most common intracranial most common intracranial is meningitis most common extracranial mastoiditis overall mastoiditis no controversy should be there clear cholestoma mandatory topic what are the basic hypothesis for cholestoma what are the most common site like prusak space is the most common site for cholestoma formation what is prusak space what are the boundaries of prusak space what is man management option modified radical what is canal wall down canal wall up hypothesis i just want this table should be there on your tips which hypothesis explain the primary cholestoma which hypothesis explain your secondary cholestoma and what is tertiary cholestoma what is the age of presentation how we differentiate on otoscopic examination very important topic clear so these are the important points which i have given in my class notes with mac theory rud theory side theory is for primary while if you go for secondary obviously it will be epithelial migration tertiary is always traumatic post traumatic clear so these theories should be there one mcq last segment of ear will be otosclerosis against meniers they will either pick one mcq from otosclerosis or meniers otosclerosis car heart notch more common in females what is the age of distribution pregnancy word have to be there in otosclerosis these are the basic points we will do stepidotomy in our days what is the effect of what is the, if you go if you send a patient after surgery what will be the changes you should be aware of these points otosclerosis very important meniers again one of the controversial mcq meniers is more common in males always remember this point which chromosome is associated very favorite question of your all india always remember chromosome 14 is most commonly associated with meniers what is the management meniers we always prefer medical treatment rarely we do surgery which surgery is there endolymphatic hydrops endolymphatic hydrops clear what is tullio's phenomena this is very favorite question of your all india examiner tullio's phenomena is a hallmark feature is one of the feature of meniers in which the patient is very uncomfortable with a nose with a loud sound noisy surrounding clear so these points very crucial otoscopies against meniers i am just we are taking all the faculties are taking this effort of last minute revision why because this way you should run in last few days otherwise it will not be possible to get a good rank clear acoustic tinoma again either mcq will be in patho or in ent or medicine which nerve is commonly involved one of the controversial point inferior vestibular nerve we should go with inferior vestibular nerve what is the investigation of choice mri what is the treatment of choice is your surgery in patho they can ask you which classification is used for acoustic neuroma always remember antony classification is used for acoustic neuroma which nerve is commonly involved first nerve to be involved is seventh nerve as fifth nerve is first to be involved seventh is very resistant always remember fifth nerve is first to be involved now never confuse now never get confused if the nerve eight is given obviously we'll go for eighth nerve because there is tumor of eighth nerve but if fifth fifth is the earliest nerve to be involved what is histelberger sign is a favorite question 
of your examiner histelberger sign clear so these are the important segment related with acoustic genoma heading rehabilitation as for heading rehabilitation is concerned heading aids cochlear implant what are the indication of cochlear implant what are the indication of brain stem implants all these points heading rehabilitation what is the lowest age of cochlear implant what are the contraindication of cochlear implant very crucial for your all india examination clear so whatever i have discussed with you they will pick any five mcq just just try to appreciate short subjects very crucial in the last spell concentrate more on the short subjects larynx muscles of the larynx they can ask you to identify any muscle of the larynx last one of the examination they have asked you posterior crico arch not so you should be aware how to differentiate the muscles in the larynx spaces important point paraglottic space pre epiglottic space these are the important spaces which they always ask you paraglottic space pre epiglottic space what are the boundaries of paraglottic space pre epiglottic space what is the nerve supply of larynx it should be on your tips congenital dyspnea very crucial topic either in pediatrics or in ent they will ask you supraglottic laryngomalacia glottic will be your webs subglottic will be your stenosis how to differentiate laryngomalacia from webs with stenosis what is the management of these option very crucial topic for medicine peds and your ent this topic should be there epiglottitis against laryngotracheal bronchitis epiglottitis success of vaccination always remember is streptococcus just rectify just rectify is streptococcus laryngotracheal bronchitis is para influenza virus always remember epiglottitis is a emergency condition is a emergency condition icu is mandatory for the patient of epiglottitis this is a clinical point on which they will make the mcq never give any painful stimuli to the patient of epiglottitis clear thumb sign against triple sign they can ask you in radiology what is thumb sign how to differentiate from the triple sign clear so this is very important segment of larynx most common sites again most common sites they can ask you what is the most com most commonly the posterior commissure is involved which are the areas which are at the junction of anterior 1/3 and posterior 2/3 this point they always ask in all india which are the conditions which are on ente commissure out of which they will most commonly they ask most commonly they have highlight this point what is the most common site for papillomatosis papillomatosis always remember is on anterior commissure papillomatosis is on the ente commissure what is the most common site for tb again tb is posterior commissure all these points should be there what is the most common site for chondroma what is the most common site for perichondritis these are one liner mcqs in the larynx segment vocal cord paralysis one of the clinical topic they can either ask you the positions of the vocal cord median para median gently abducted fully abducted or they can ask you the management option ki what we are doing in unilateral paralysis what we are doing in bilateral paralysis one liner points most common site for unilateral paralysis is malignancy the most common cause of bilateral pa paralysis is your thyroid surge important segment of your larynx unilateral bilateral clear all the positions should be there median para median what is the normal healthy condition what is the disease condition what are the simons law this is again a important segment of your larynx carcinoma larynx mandatory topic what is the tnm classification of the patient tnm classification of the patient what is the management of the patient in which patient will prefer radio or partial surgery indication of partial that is a hpl horizontal partial vertical partial in which are the condition like t3 t4 where we prefer total laryngectomies so what are the words if you open the class notes i have given you clearly these words which make the diagnosis of t3 t4 i will prefer total laryngectomy clear so what is indication of hpl vpl which structures are removed in hpl vpl very crucial for upcoming all india examination coming on the rhinology anatomy of nose anatomy of paranasal sinus anatomy of paranasal sinus ethmoidal air cell like what is a nodi cell 
what is Heller cell, how to differentiate a OD from Heller, or what is your agar nizai cell? What is bulla ethmodialis? Out of these four points, they will pick one. Clear? Anatomy of nose. They will ask you where all these sinus open. If you remember, yesterday I have updated one chart in which I have highlighted these points, okay, which sinus open in which meatus. So these are very crucial for your All India examination. Tumors of your nasal cavity, paranasal sinuses. Most common benign tumor of nose, most common benign tumor of paranasal sinus. What are the malignant tumors? Commonly is a squamous cell carcinoma. Which sinus is commonly involved? Maxillary sinus. Which is the most common site for malignancy in nose? Is a lateral wall of nose. What are the treatment options? Out of this, out of benign tumors, always read inverted papilloma nicely. Inverted papilloma. I am giving you six points from which they can ask you the MCQ. Is a unilateral condition. Age of distribution is 40 to 60 years male incidence is more than female also known as ringer's tumor unilateral is 40 to 60 years is the age of distribution male incidence is more than female is a ringer's tumor also known as ringer's tumor why they ask you again and again because is a pre malignant condition is a pre malignant condition and what is the most common site lateral wall of the nose always remember lateral wall of the nose is the most common site for inverted papilloma as well as malignancy so out of six points they will pick one like i want to complete inverted papilloma i should complete within two minutes these six points should be this is the speed this is the demand of time at this point you should run at this speed if we want a decent rank in all india examination clear just try to focus on this table i have just Highlight this point. What is the differentiating feature between ossifying fibroma and fibrous dysplasia? Which my gut feeling say K will be there in your all India examination. For the last two, three years, they are asking this question again and again. So ossifying fibroma against fibrous dysplasia is very crucial topic for examination. Sinusitis against rhinitis. What is chronic sinusitis? More than three months is a very crucial topic, a crucial MCQ. What are the indication of MRI in sinusitis? What is the most common site for fungal ball formation? What are the six complications of sinusitis? Mucosal, pyocele, osteomyelitis, and fistula, commonly seen in frontal. Orbital cellulitis, orbital abscess, commonly seen in it model. Out of this, they can pick one. Rhinitis, very favorite question is vasomotor rhinitis, or they can ask you rhinitis medicomentosa. Atrophic rhinitis, foul smelling crust formation, merciful anosmia, if given in the MCQ, will be a feature of rhinitis. So you should be aware how to differentiate these basic points. But again, is more sinusitis more than three months is known as chronic sinusitis, is a expected MCQ. CSF rhinodia, either in ENT or in general surgery. What are the, which is the investigation of choice? Always remember, is your electrophoresis, electrophoresis, but if they ask you site of leakage, if they talk about site of leakage, is your CT, HRCT. Investigation of choice, electrophoresis, site of leakage is CT, traumatic, non-traumatic, all these basic points. What is the treatment? We always prefer to wait and watch. So what your All India examiner always do, we wait for two weeks, we give IV antibiotics with wait and watch, but he will write immediate endoscopic repair, which will be a false statement. Very important point. Wait and watch with IV antibiotics is the treatment of choice clear facial fractures what are the leaf foot fracture mcq again mandatory leaf foot fractures type of leaf foot fractures what are the special terms used for leaf foot one leaf foot two leaf foot three in which patient csf rhinorrhea is commonly seen what is class one fracture what is class two fracture what are the management of these topic again very crucial Apistaxis. None of the All India examination is there where they have not asked any MCQ on apistaxis. Artery of apistaxis, sphenopalatine artery. Artery of apistaxis, sphenopalatine artery. We never ligate internal carotid artery. These are the first point which should be on your tips. Then, which are the areas on your septum, which are the areas on the lateral wall, and how we manage enter apistaxis, posterior apistaxis. Clear? Very crucial segment. 
pharynx only one mcq will be the last point which i want to discuss with you is your angiofibroma against nasopharyngeal carcinoma angiofibroma against nasopharyngeal carcinoma young boy all the words young boy we never take biopsy sphenol palatine young boy sphenol palatine foramen is the most common site most common symptom apostaxis never take biopsy of this patient of angiofibroma treatment of choice is surgery we reduce the size of the tumor by radio chemo hormonal therapy important which artery we embolize just remember internal maxillary artery internal maxillary artery expected mcq nasopharyngeal carcinoma is commonly seen in chinese this was a statement in one of the previous examination the fossa of rosenmuller is the most common site most common symptom golden statement unilateral cervical lymphadenopathy more than age of 60 years nasopharyngeal carcinoma we prefer radio plus chemotherapy for nasopharyngeal carcinoma trotter's triad is a feature always remember for all india trotter's method is for apostaxis trotter's triad is for nasopharyngeal carcinoma so these are the few most important segment of your all india examination last one minute i will be using just to give a strong message class notes with your updates in the exclusive club with g all the grand test all the subject wise test are the key to success these are the only things which will give you rank in all india examination on the behalf of dams family we promise you we all are with you till your interview with us are you getting this point so just have faith on your hard work i want in the last few days you work so hard again make your parents proud for your success and we all are with you best of luck thanks a lot for your patience